GeoNet is one of my favorite projects because it is solving real world problems and it's also creating real revenue. Very few projects in the deep end space can actually say this. In this video, I'm going to show you a unique opportunity to earn more on their network. Today, I'm going to be looking at one of their newest devices and that is called the GeoNet Pulse. When I say new, it was launched in November of 2024, but I didn't get my hands on one of these until about a month ago. So what is GeoNet? GeoNet is the world's largest decentralized RTK real-time chromatic network, and you can think of it as a GPS network on steroids. But unlike a regular GPS, which can be off by a few meters, GeoNet delivers centimeter level accuracy using thousands of small antennas set up by people like you or me. And this is part of DPIN. If you're not familiar with DPIN, that is decentralized physical infrastructure networks where everyday people like you and myself can go ahead and help build a network and get rewarded with tokens. GeoNet already has over 16,000 of these devices active across 135 countries. It's powering many different industries like self-driving cars, agriculture, farming, drones, mapping, augmented reality, the list goes on. Before the Pulse, the only way you could earn the GeoNet token is by setting up and hosting one of these antennas. If your hex, which is the location that you live, has a bunch of antennas, that means your rewards are gonna be fairly low because the rewards are evenly distributed among all the hexes. With this new Pulse, however, virtually anyone can use it and they can earn rewards. You don't have to use it in the car. You can also use it in a bike you can use it on a scooter or just walking. Once you have the app installed, you can go ahead and fulfill these quests. With the GeoPulse, you can earn the GeoNet token by completing different tasks in the Quest app, like mapping network coverage. Currently right now with the Pulse, you can earn up to 200 Geo tokens. And because they've partnered with the ITOX, there's 2.5 million ITOX tokens available. That's real cash in your pocket. All right, so I have the Geo Pulse here and setting this up is not tricky at all. Okay, so for some people, they might have to use a cigarette adapter. Um, I actually have some USB ports in my car, so I just need to plug it in and there we go. So the Geo Pulse actually has a magnet on the back of it so it, you can actually mount it pretty good. Now, if you're not able to do it that way, they also provided a non-slip pad, which you can actually use on your dash and just put it on here so it doesn't slide away. This is the booster and here is a connector. It would just screw on the same way i'm not going to be connecting the booster because i'm going to have this mounted outside of my car i have my phone over here so I'll go ahead and scan that and i want to go to android and it's downloading the file we're going to install it i'm going to connect to it and i'm going to pair it i'm just going to go ahead and turn on my car and i'm going to open up my sunroof and the GeoPulse can be mounted on a metal service because it has a magnetic backing. And I can take that and it's just going to snap into place. And it says it's disconnected right now, but we'll just uh, reconnect it. The only thing I have to do when I want to get started with mapping is just tap on the go button. And it's going to start mapping right away. And a really good way to see how much signal you're getting uh, is just by tapping on this sky button right over here. It has the GLONASS at the bottom and GPS, and then you can see uh, over here at the top, you can see that I am connected to the RTK network. When I'm not connected to the RTK network, this will switch over and it'll just say GPS. So over here in my quest section, uh, you want to be the first to fix eight hexagons and earn geo tokens. So I was able to do the first one. I'm on the second one right now. I have two more to go before I fix uh, eight of eight. Then I have three and four, and I tap on the quest right over here, uh, that hexagon needs to be fixed. So that's gonna be my target location. So if I'm gonna be in that area, I'll be able to fix that hexagon and earn additional GeoNet points. And if we go over here, tap back to quests, and you scroll down at the very bottom, I haven't registered yet, but we have the option to dual mine with ITOX. So you just have to turn this one on, put in your ITOX address, which I have to enter in here, and then save it, and then you'll be dual mining with ITOX and Geode. One thing I definitely want to mention is next month, the Geo tokens that you're going to be earning with the Pulse will be uncapped. All right, so here we are on CoinGecko. I pulled up the Geo token. Currently right now, we're sitting at just above 21 cents. If you take a look at the chart, it's been going up and to the right since it launched in November, 2023. Uh, it's been steady growth and it's been growing very well. It's one of the few deep in projects that's continuing to grow and accelerate. Right now with the Geo Pulse, you're going to earn up to 200 
Geo tokens, which is about $42 at the price. So starting next month, the rewards for the GeoNet Pulse will be uncapped. That means your potential for earnings and a quicker ROI on the device is a lot shorter. So my friends over at Heal and Deploy had supplied me with the GeoPulse. And right now they have a sale of 200 units. It begins today, May 16th. The price of the device is $149. If this interests you, you'll be able to get it by the end of May. And like I had mentioned, next month is when the rewards are going to be uncapped. So getting your rewards and your ROI on the price that you purchased this device is going to be significantly faster. Also, I'll make sure I put my coupon code to save you 10%, which is CryptoJar. So you can go ahead and save yourself a little bit of money and support the channel. And that's all we have right now for the GeoPulse device. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please smash the like button. If you have any questions about this device, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.